Hey everybody, Carter from Basement Pets here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between mature males and mature female tarantulas, and I'm also going to be talking about slings of tarantulas and the difference of care between slings and adults. The word sling is actually an abbreviation of spiderling that many arachnid enthusiasts use. Many people don't want to start out with a sling because it can be a super slow process to raise it to adulthood, but there are some definite benefits from raising your tarantula from a sling. Some of the main reasons starting out with a sling may be better for a lot of people is because adult tarantulas can be extremely expensive and it's also really, really fun to watch a spider grow throughout the years. Some slow-growing tarantula genus can take an extremely long time to grow, sometimes like 10 years, which is crazy. This also means that these tarantulas tend to live a very long time. Sling care really varies on the species, but most slings are burrowers, and it can be difficult to make sure the substrate doesn't dry out at the bottom of the enclosure. Keep in mind that slings can be extremely tiny. I have seen slings on sale for one eighth of an inch, and that's like their legs spread out, which is crazy small. That's like the grains of substrate. So make sure that you keep that in mind. In my experience, any sling that's like under half an inch is very small, especially for a beginner. So if you're a beginner, I would start out with one that's like three fourths of an inch. Also keep in mind feeding because you have to feed tiny spiders really tiny food. So if you don't have tiny B. lateralis roaches, you can also feed a little cricket drumsticks, which are like the legs ripped off of crickets, which sounds really gruesome, but they do eat that. So if you need to, you can feed it that, or you can chop up a mealworm. If you wanna learn more about sling care, go check out Tom Moran on YouTube. He's got some really great content and he actually helped me get into my first slings and he's got two really great and comprehensive videos on sling care. And when your sling grows up, it's gonna turn into one of two things, a mature male tarantula or a mature female tarantula. Now in the hobby, people generally like to get mature females as they live much longer and just generally look more beautiful. But a lot of the times you'll get a mature male, which is totally cool, they just don't live quite as long. I currently have two mature males that I like very much but they just won't live as long, which is kind of sad. After completing what is called their final molt, mature males won't molt anymore and they won't eat anymore either. So this means that like my, my big guy Hopper, he doesn't eat anymore. He just kind of walks around his enclosure since most male tarantulas in the wild would go on long journeys to try to find females. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a quick introduction to what I'm talking about. You should definitely do more research if you're interested in this. As always, if you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel. That would be pretty cool. Bye.